Thank you. Thank you. Just found out we got Roseanne Barr and Tom Arnold coming up. She's going to sing for the first time on network TV again. Seriously. That's coming up. It's right here. You found the place. You know, if this woman's life were made into a movie, you may not believe it, the character she's most famous for in the series Heart to Heart seems tame in comparison to the lady who played her. She divides her time between Hollywood and her second home, believe it or not, in Kenya. And fortunately for us, she's not in Kenya. She's here. She's Stephanie Powers. How you doing, Steph? Terrific. Whoops. No, She's at it. <laughs> did you see that? I, I, tried, I tried to give away two hundred dollars. If uh, you, you think you still got a shot of it? that? Do you think she's Betty? actually going to make it? Yes. <laughs> Betty, how are you going? I'm having trouble with my pale nut. Oh, poor thing. She's trying to make. <laughs> she's trying to make two hundred dollars oh. before the end of the show. You see. We oh, can yes. do stupid Isn't stuff like that. Isn't there an easier way for them? <laughs> 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 so how... Uh, <laughs> Betty! This is Stephanie Powers. I've been waiting for months to get her on the show. Don't Sorry. blow it. Where were we? Oh, yes. Uh, I just like to do stupid stuff on the show, you know. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> so Kenya, how did you choose Kenya? That place is way away. Well, it is, and, and yet it isn't. I mean, it depends on your perspective. If you're there, Los Angeles is a long way away. Mm -hmm. um, it was a place that was sort of um, very special to me and, uh, and was very special to a gentleman that I spent a long time with. William Holden. William Holden. Mm -hmm. He'd been out there for a number of years, and he'd established a, a game farm for the preservation of certain species of animals. Some of the animals have become uh, listed on the endangered list, and some of them are threatened. But most of the animals that we raise there now, and I, I sort of picked up where he left off with his two partners, are really rather rare, mm -hmm. unfortunately. And uh, we sort of carried on with his work after he died. And that was kind of the reason that I went out there in the first place, was to enjoy it with him. And uh, I really never had any idea that it, would, that it would take up so much of my life. The culture shock of going from Hollywood High <laughs> to Beverly Hills, to Kenya, still must have been, like, major gear-changing, though, for you, Sam. Well, yes and no. I was very prepared for it. I mean, I'd traveled a great deal um, in my life and uh, lived in all sorts of odd places. And it was a, you know, I had, I had dreamed about going there. And when it happened, it was a sort of, it felt very natural to me and still feels very natural. It's like, I think, when we have varied lives, it's like shifting channels on a television set. You mm -hmm. sort of shift a channel and get adjusted to that program, and then, sure, you know, and then that's the way it is. Let's look at your house. I, we got some pictures of it, you know, in Kenya. Well, it's a little, it's, it's not very big. It's, uh, those are my camels. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> those are my camels. They uh, have names? Yes, uh, Solomon and Rushdie. Oh, how about that? <laughs> Look at this. Uh, now, this is the view out of your back door. That's Can my you back imagine? garden, yeah. That's oh. Mount Kenya in the background. It's a permanently glacier-covered mountain mm. on the right, situated right on the equator. Well, Kiasi Ghana. Kiasi Ghani. Of Vanambaya. We're speaking Swahili, you know. We got so close all of a sudden. Nyenye mm. Kushigaza. Oh, gosh. Where did you get that one? <laughs> um, that means it's amazing. Mimi na frayi ko hapa. Marahata hei Wow. Throw me into a tailspin there, man. Speak a little Swahili. Si, si na kusema ki Swahili. Poli, poli. Now, let me, let me translate for you. She just said, you speak Swahili poorly, poorly. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I said we can speak it. Very slowly. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And, let's and talk if you about believe these... that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about these wonderful pens you have. Because... Oh, well, this is part of, a, of an interesting thing that we're doing this coming weekend. 
In order to carry on with the work that we do in Kenya, we obviously have to infuse uh, the foundation, the William Bolden Wildlife Foundation, with funds. And in order to do that, we have to have fundraising activities. Mm. And this year, we are, are sharing our benefits um, with a wonderful organization in uh, Palm Springs, uh, Palm Desert, actually, called the Living Desert, which sort of does the same thing we do in Africa. But since our entire event is situated in the Coachella Valley and Palm Springs, Palm Desert in India, we felt it was only fair to uh, leave some of the money in the community. Mm -hmm. And um, So can people this, from all walks of life go to this thing? If, if oh, absolutely. It's open to everybody. Because everybody I know there's and polo and, and there's all that. And We have uh, three days of events. We have... Uh, it's called a tribute to William Holden, and there's a film fest retrospective of eight films of Bill's, and then we have on Saturday night a diamond safari party, and on Sunday we have a polo match in which I'm playing. You are. All these men play, and then there's Stephanie Powers. Yeah, yeah, I'm the only girl playing that. Yes. Yeah. Do they? Do you find that they're nicer to you, or do they go after you even more? <laughs> well, on the horse, of course. <laughs> yes, we, we can qualify that a little bit. But in, I want to just, you said you wanted to talk about these. Well, this They're is, gorgeous. Are they, are they real diamonds? Yeah, the, this is oh. the only place where I think we all agree this is the proper place for endangered species. Yeah. Don't you think? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only place that we really ever want to see a rhinoceros encrusted with diamonds uh, on a lapel. And Let me not talk to you, though, about that for just a second, because, you know, some of the hunters, uh, uh, and, and there's a tremendous problem in Kenya with poaching, as you know, from having your place there. Many of the hunters say that, that when they could go over, because hunting is, is illegal over there now. Uh, yes, it was made illegal in 1974. But the hunters say that, that uh, because it was made illegal and they can't go over and have these safaris go out, that the poaching is worse because at that time, the safari companies were, were like little pockets of militia who would stop the poaching because if they did, they wouldn't have a business. Do you think that's just a line from the hunters? <laughs> Well, you, you raised a very interesting uh, question. Uh, or because you're around. I mean, you, you may know. There are lots of people who believe that that's true. And, and to a certain extent, it is true. Because they simply didn't have the manpower to be able to patrol all the areas where the game was. Mm -hmm. And when hunting was allowed, the safaris and the operation of some of the hunting safaris did actually um, police areas, if you like, right. that uh, then uh, were sort of rendered barren of... of human populace uh, after hunting was, uh, was repealed. Uh, the only damage that they really did do, I suppose, was a genetic damage. They would shoot the big tusker oh, yeah. or the big horned animal. And that's really, that's genetics for those species. A big tusk passes down generation and, uh, into generation. There's a hot weekend polo. Be careful. Yeah. No, there's a, those horses go fast. Yeah, if you want to know more about it, you can call the Living Desert and find Living Desert. Desert. Palm Desert. Yeah. I've been there. It's gorgeous. It's great. Isn't oh, it? it's beautiful. It just takes you so far away. Yeah. And, uh, and there's a line. Well, maybe the you'll come. Oh, I'd love to. Would you like to ride a polo pony? With you as the. As the <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm not good at that, you know? <laughs> Stephanie Powers, thank you so much. Thank Wonderful you. job this weekend coming up. You'll be in the desert.